That's why I need a ginger around you. <laughs> Sometimes they're necessary. Very well, few times. <clears throat> there was a thing I saw. It was 2050. Mm -hmm. Gingers are supposed to be extinct or something like that. Extinct in 2050. So that's... I read that a long time ago. 30-some years from now? That's yeah. not that long. You'll be... Well, I'll probably be dead before then. I drink a lot of Monster, so... Well... And Red Bull. We hope you die before that, but, I mean, if not, we will definitely take care of that problem. Honestly, if I die tomorrow, that's fine. Mm. I've experienced enough in this life. He thinks so. He thinks so. Well, I almost finished school. Almost. <laughs> I, 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 did, I did I high school, so, I mean, <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, but I'm in college, and I still bullshit that. Yeah, f fuck college, man. That shit was not for me. God it's dude. just... I, I think of the future, but then I'm like, what I'm getting my degree for is nothing that I actually want to do. See, that was my problem. Like, I, I honestly, coming out of high school, I was gonna go into more of it, like a trade school. Yeah. And do, like, either, um, like, bec like a machinist or, like, a mechanic or something. But I had the football scholarship, full ride, so I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll play football and get go to school for free. So I was like, oh, I'll just, I was like, I have no idea what the fuck I want to go into school for, so I was just like... I guess just general yeah, how education. Good were you at football. I was, I was really good. What position were you? Linebacker. I was a, that was a fucking beast. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> What's up? I know nothing about sports, <laughs> so I have no idea what a linebacker is. All right, so do you know anything about football, like defense or anything like that? There's a ball in the foot, and that's about it. <laughs> that's most is sports. Is it something like it? Yeah. So, something, like, okay. something, something to that effect. Basically. I watched it for the commercials in the Super Bowl. <laughs> that's pretty much. You're that guy. I, I am that guy. I'll be honest. It happens. No, I, I was pretty fucking good. Good enough to get a scholar, a full, you know, scholarship to play in college. So, but I did that for like a year. I had some family shit come up, and never. I just like I was like I'll always go back. I'll go back, and never did because just really never. Well, it wasn't my thing, you know. Just doing the whole more fucking learning, and <laughs> it just wasn't for me. I, like like I said, I if I didn't have the scholarship, I definitely would have done trade school, and I probably would be a fucking mechanic or a machinist right now. Well, I mean, if you think about it, a trade school is Dude, half so the time of a col like actual college and they degree. Get paid like, and they get paid pretty more. much double yeah. than what a normal person gets. Because Unless you have a doctorate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. that I takes, mean, what, 10 years? Some stupid like At that. least. I mean, there's there's obviously certain professions that you could go to school for or like the four-year college and come out and you'd be making good money. But there's a lot of them that, like teachers, for instance, you, you fucking got to go to school for I don't know how many fucking years, and if you want to get your master's, you know, you get more money, but that takes an extra amount, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and it's fucking expensive, <clears throat> and they're not making that much money, and they got fucking hella student debt. Well, a uh, teacher I knew, she was a, I think it was an economics teacher in high school, it was something like that, she was a, a lawyer, before oh, yeah. she went to school, she got her master's, she became a lawyer, she hated it, I hated it, yeah. she realized, like, the dirty stuff you have to do and essentially lie because, you know, when you're protecting someone who's a criminal yeah, yeah, to yeah. give them a lesser sentence, I mean, you kind of have yeah, to I mean, it's lose your, it's part your of job. yourself, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, well, yeah, definitely. So <clears throat> she quit and then she found, I guess, well, a job in high school, mm -hmm. but she was making at least a hundred grand. Damn. But that's because of her background, right, of right. her degree. Most teachers don't get a master's oh, yeah. unless... Uh, think you may need one for most universities yeah i think you have to or uh, yeah i'm not for sure not to be honest with you. i don't have to but um, i know it's definitely a better yeah, recommendation if you, you do have more, obviously you yeah, know i was actually talking to my dad the other day do you want a beer are you sure uh go for it i mean i'm good are you sure fuck yes yeah, too all right, right, fuck you um and you dropped it i fucking keep dropping shit um no i was talking to my dad the other day and uh my god oh shit what the? Oh, it's pretty loud. <sighs> Can we <start> it down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, but my yeah, my godfather. He's actually a teacher. He teaches um, on the East Coast. I don't know where Connecticut, maybe or some shit. But he's making like ninety five thousand a year. And, but he's got his master's degree and all that shit on the East Coast. On the East Coast, yeah, they oh, get okay. paid a lot more and a lot better over there. Um. Yeah, but yeah, dude, that's that's a fucking crazy thing. I, I mean, I honestly think they don't pay teachers enough. Well, and you think about the uh, the way the teachers fucking teach. Love beer. That's why I buy some. <laughs> it's gonna be watered down. That's the only thing that's See, I was from New Jersey, and Jersey. 
you know, they were actually teaching you, at least it's the district I was in, right. the teachers were very prideful of being a teacher. So, mm-hmm. like, they were strict. I mean, and uh, my school was, I believe it was an A, a rating. Oh, okay. So, we, when we moved to Florida when I was 15, we were looking at, looking at different dif- districts mm-hmm. and schools and everything. And we we came across one in particular, and they were happy with their rating, and it was a B rating. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, you're Dude. really proud to have a, a B rating. That's kind of ridiculous. You, you should strive for an A. No, the, yeah, it, it is fucking crazy. The school's just, um, like, when, when I look up, uh, like, when Holly and I are looking up, like, houses and shit, mm-hmm. that's one of the things you could... Uh, one of the categories it breaks down like the school district and it gives it a grade like uh, from zero to ten. And Ali is his wife, by the way. <laughs> there are very, very few schools that are like above six, and it's like especially like in Orlando area. Mm-hmm. Like some of them are like threes and twos. I'm like, fuck, like that's for the rating wise. Yeah, no, for the rating of the of the whole school. Like they rate the school district. Like, um, <clears throat> so with like this area. I don't know what I don't know what schools are here, but they have the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school for mm-hmm. celebration. So if I when I go on Zillow, uh, excuse me, that was that was a good incredible. one. When I go I mean, on I have Zillow, one probably like five minutes. <laughs> um, that's one uh, of the categories. It's mind. like it shows the it says elementary school and it says the name of it and it gives a grade from zero to ten. So it'd be like five out of ten. Middle school six out of ten. High school three out of ten. So you can kind of figure out like what schools are better basically so there's no tents in this area not that i've seen no <laughs> and i don't know bad. yeah and a lot of them are low so i'm just like I'm, like especially in the orlando area like that shit's bad like so you pretty much have to find a list between two evils maybe i mean there's there is some good <laughs> school district areas like um the my best buddy tyler her, his family they moved down here that's the family i lived with for a little while when i first moved out here uh-huh. and they ended up living in uh oviedo and they picked that because they had, like, one of the best school districts because their youngest son, Jake, was just going into high school. So they wanted him to go to a good high school. So they, they, they you know, they did a lot of research and found that that area was really good. I fucking love that area. It's super nice. What's the movie where uh, they made their own school? They made their own college? Oh, uh, sh- shit. Uh, that's the South Harmon Institute of Technology. Is that that's what it was? Yeah, the, the acronym was shit. South Harmony. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that one dude said he had like fucking mind powers or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that shit was hilarious. What was that called? Accepted, maybe? I can't think of the name. We have this fucking fucking awesome thing in our hand called a uh, cell phone. Cellular device. Um Yeah, I remember they they were making their own classes and everything. That's what I want to do with us. I feel like we could really make the world a better place i mean i don't really know anything about anything i know everything about nothing so that's why we make a good team exactly we can't even think of a name for our podcast yeah you know it should happen accepted yeah that's what it's called that's what yeah yeah. my process to get to that because i couldn't fucking think of the the actor's name it's justin long but i knew he was in jeepers creepers the first one so i just typed in jeepers creepers and saw it's like justin long so i typed justin long in and the movies popped up and accepted. Yep, that was it. I think we should talk about your superpowers. <laughs> my fucking superpowers. I think, I, think uh, the, I don't know if the world's ready to know about my amazing powers. And yeah, powers. but I think it would make a good intro to our, essentially our first podcast. Yeah, definitely. Or should we save that for tomorrow's podcast with Sean? We can. We can I think, save I that. think we should. So, so tomorrow we dun, have dun, dun, dun. our <laughs> first guest. Yes, well, technically our second one, the first one. We had some technical difficulties. <laughs> well, I wonder why. Uh, so, uh, a, a buddy of mine, who's an owner of a gym, uh, decided he didn't want to wear headphones, and he didn't want to stay in a seat. So, he was like, oh, I'm going to go in the kitchen. And we he, Granted, that. he is pretty loud, but it's still fucked. With, we just had the one mic set up at the time. Now we have the two, the two mics, so it's going to sound a lot better. But yeah, with him going that that far out, it fucked with the audio for sure. He definitely sounded further away, and so we're we're gonna bring him back on. We got the new setup now, so it's gonna be a lot better. We have to strap that motherfucker down to a chair if we have to, <laughs> but he's gonna sit there and at least stay a lot closer to the mic. <laughs> I, hey, I'm willing to go out of my way and buy a microphone just for him. Like we, a we can, one. yeah, we can. 
Yeah, we need that, might, to. that might be a good idea. That way he can fucking just keep that bitch on him. He can walk where the fuck he needs to walk. Because, yeah, he does like to pace. And I want him to be comfortable, but also we got to get the best quality shit. We do, we do. That's and he's going to hear this. He's going to be like, oh, these assholes. <laughs> but he's going to know that, we're, that it's right, though. You know what I mean? He, he would understand, too. The, the stuff that he's saying, he wants it to be heard the best way. You know what I mean? Not Oh, absolutely. You know, not everything. Like, some of, like just going back and listening to the audio or the recording of that podcast there's a lot of parts where it is pretty clear but then sometimes he like moves way far back and, he's like, oh, and then it comes back loud it's like fuck and well, then what's the so editing good about is... him is he has so much to say mm-hmm. so we want to make sure that everything he says is super clear yeah yeah that, that that's what i'm saying yeah people have to be like their car volume turn it yeah, to 60, to 60 and then yeah, fucking yeah. the next second turn it down to 12 yeah. <laughs> it's like, Whoa, motherfucker. and now now that i figured out the dual the i don't even know what the technical term for it but the two tracks recording for each, or each uh, mics has its own recording track. It's going to make editing so much easier. So, it's, yeah, it's going to be a fucking, so, not a cakewalk, but a lot easier. For the viewers listening to this, this is the first time we're doing anything like this. Uh, when Julian and I met each other, I mean, well... It sounded so good. When we first met each other. When we first met each other in eHarmony. Or Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle, that's what it was, yeah. What about J-Date? <laughs> what the hell's J-Date? You never heard of J Date? Uh huh. It's Jewish dating. <laughs> You've never heard of that? <laughs> they have their own date. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess every every. I guess person. yeah. There is the. That's fucking funny, dude. I would all oh, those fucking. I bet you. Oh my god! I I just want to get on there just to fuck. I'm curious now. My that's friend almost made me a profile as a prank. <laughs> what are you on Christian Mingle? You want a bunch of show. little fucking Jewish girls hitting you up. Yeah, he told me, he said he backed out of it last minute because oh, he felt bad. Me. I'm like, I'm honestly, put me, put me on there. That's funny. fine. <laughs> that is hilarious. So, J-Date. So it's called J-Date. Well, yeah, J-Date. <laughs> I, I swear to God, look it up. Uh, I, I believe you. I, I mean, there is fucking... There's the farmer one, too. I don't know what the fuck that's called. Uh, <laughs> farmers people that are into, the, like, into farmers. like <laughs> We should like, make one for anime lovers. I, I guarantee there's probably one. There probably is one. There's, there, there's everything on the fucking internet now. So... When him and I first met, I remember uh, he really loved his job at the time, and I absolutely hated my job. And then uh, we we didn't see each other for about six, seven months. Probably six, seven months, yeah. And then the next time I saw him, he was like, "Yeah, honestly, fuck this job. I hate this company. It's the worst company <laughs> in the world." Get out, fucking soon enough. It took too long. But the first time we met, I mean, we were talking about our passions and what we want in life, and my passion is I. Love Christ. anything with creativity. <laughs> Passion nope. to Christ. No, not that. I, hey, I do have a passion. Acting. Bingo. What's your passion? Well, when we, for that conversation, we were talking about it was music. So that specifically is what mm-hmm. we were talking about. And I remember I was so pissed because um, that first day that, I, that I'd seen you after like the seven months I hadn't seen you, um... Dude, that's, stop touching me. I, I can't help it. Stop Sorry. touching me. Sorry, bro. That's just my foot. That's, that's the thing. He keeps touching me, and I, I can't stand it. He likes it. He secretly likes it. Not from you. <laughs> you don't do it, right? Eh, I'll figure it out. Or you'll just get to learn to like it. Either way, <laughs> it's going to be a win-win for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I told him, I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, I was really, at the moment, at that time, I was like really getting back into the music thing, and that's pretty much what we talked about, like, you know, for, for the brief time that we talked and I was like fuck I forgot to ask him about his acting stuff because the last time we had talked that's what he was talking about so luckily I saw him the next day and we I asked him about that and he was telling me you know he's like still super into it still trying to do stuff with it and um that's when I brought up I was like yo my you know my brother him and I have been working on a little thing that that he's working on I'm helping him out it's uh, like an animated show we should just talk about you know start talking about like comedy stuff and I told him that you know I was at the time I was kind of messing on working on like a little script of myself like a comedy movie of some sorts and we just kind of started talking about that shit and like we're like dude let's just fucking do something with it you know what i mean we, we had this idea of just coming up with these funny fucked up skits and you know just putting that shit together 
Um, we're still doing that, but you know, right now we got the podcast that we're starting up. That's going to be just like the foundation of everything. Yeah, because we're both broke. So little by little, <laughs> we have to save up. We're ballers <laughs> on a budget, bitch. That is a fucking fact. Well, but, we're going to talk about the ghetto rig that we have here. I mean, it's de- every time I come in here, though, I feel like it's getting better oh, and yeah. better. But yeah, yeah. it's definitely... It's, so we're pretty much recording this in a closet. <laughs> a, a walk-in closet right now. We are in the closet. We are. Secretly. We well, are not, not secretly. coming out yet. Not yet. It's still comfy in here. We're good. Eventually. Eh, if, yeah. If we need something to drink or piss. <laughs> and I forgot my piss jug. <laughs> but we yeah, have that. I mean, yeah, we got, I got my old fucking coffee table. I had to get, take that out of the living room because my daughter's crawling now and she tries to pull shit down. Table. Yeah. Not a good combo. Anyways, brought that in here to the walk-in closet. Got the two mics set up. Sean's mic's, uh, hooked to the little fucking arm that's con- that's attached to the table. I got my little stand-up mic stand with my mic. Got the mixer and all that shit. Got an old Try not to and- curse for five seconds. I can't, dude. I, all I say is fuck. Five seconds. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that's five seconds, at least. And But it's a, it's a nice... It's probably the nicest ghetto setup, and it just gets a little bit better and better every time we put it together. Like, it would be nice if we had a TV... Can you, Matt, what if we had a TV and we hooked up the GameCube? The GameCube? I have a GameCube. Oh, shit, yeah. Dude, okay. What if we hooked up a TV, we can buy one of those ones at Walmart, the mm-hmm. 130 ones, we can hook it up on the wall, and we could just play GameCube. We could even put it, like, literally on top of that thing. I don't, so, why did I point all the way in the ceiling? We could, like, <laughs> the spot in front of us. Right, right there, right in front of you, I promise. Come on, tell me that that wouldn't be nice. That would be fucking dope. What games you got on GameCube? I have... Uh, right now, I actually hooked up in my room because I play it every like six months. Right. Uh, I'm playing uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. Dope. And then I have Wind Waker at home. And then I think that 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 system was kind of slept on. It had some pretty dope. It had some bad games, but it also had some pretty cool ones. I well, d- I had Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, see. that's one of the best games mm, of all time. Yeah, and and see, and it was it was I don't it wasn't as popular. At least when it came out, at least I, from what I remember, it wasn't that popular. We had one, but we never really used it. Oh, God. <laughs> you just queefed. <laughs> smells like shame and latex. Ugh. Well, it's not as bad as when you eat turkey burgers. Dude, that was bad. I, I don't know what that fucking... Well, I mean, I knew what it was. It was turkey burger burgers. It was kind of like Hiroshima but, Dude, steroids. it was fucking it was pretty bad. bad. It was really bad. Um, but, well, yeah. <clears throat> I have um, Mario Kart Double Dash. Okay. See, there, like I said, there was a lot of cool, like, cool games on there. Um, I, I want to go back and get a, 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 like, an old school Nintendo, and play all the old games on that. Like, the I have one. The, oh, do you have like the, the old school, like the actual with the cartridge and shit? Yeah, the Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, we're definitely hooking up. A I actually game. have uh, some of the first systems ever made. Oh, really? Like, names that you've never even heard of. Because uh, my father had them. Because my father grew up playing video games. Right. Now all he does is play World of Warcraft. <laughs> every single day. That's funny. That's my, his thing. My dad, he really wasn't into too much games. He liked, he was a beast at Pac-Man. Like, the arcade Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destroyed in that. And there was also one other game that we played on PlayStation. It's called Abe's Odyssey. And that game was so freaking hard. But he, he loved playing that. Like, we all played it. My mom played Ace it. Ace Odyssey. Abe's Oh, a- it's not, a- B- not. Yeah, no, it's a it's a weird game. It has like a like a cult following behind it. Oh, like yeah. They're re- they're doing a like the t- uh, making a sequel that's coming out. I think this year, maybe next year, but it's like twenty years later. But like, what's it about though? So basically, it's um this dude this this alien. His name's Abe. He's this alien, and he works at this uh this company that makes like sweets and foods and stuff, and. uh He's cleaning up the, you know, all the mess, and he stumbles upon, like, a, a meeting where all the head honchos of the, the company are talking, and they're talking about making this new product that's coming out, and he finds out that what they're using is the aliens, like, his his race mm-hmm. of aliens, their meat to make these things, and they're just basically, you know, using them as slaves, and then also just turning them into fucking food, so he's, so yeah, it's the craziest thing. <laughs> what system was it for? Uh, PlayStation. I uh, see. I never. I never had a PlayStation. Oh, so I grew up with Nintendo and then Xbox. Okay, so Microsoft. We. I think I could da- uh, download it on my PS. Uh, the PS4. I know I can. I'm gonna download that, dude. You're, you're gonna love this game, but it's so freaking hard because there's so many hidden 
things like you could be walking past like a shadow and if you push like the like the left uh button or whatever to like go in the joystick yeah, yeah you can go in inside of it and it takes you down to like a shaft but you don't you have to know, like you just have to just guess like you don't know you have to discover for yourself yeah basically yeah. and they have hidden people like you're supposed to basically what you're supposed to do is go through the whole um factory area and like save all the all the people like all the aliens and uh-huh. stuff and like <clears throat> try not to get killed because like there's guards with machine guns it, it's like it's uh, jesus it's christ it's so fucking nuts but he's got little special powers he could like uh he farts <sighs> and like, he could like possess his farts and like it's like like I, 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 <laughs> dude it's the craziest fucking game it's like an acid trip <laughs> dude, it, dude it is the best game i'm telling you you're gonna play it and you're gonna love it it's so addicting but i I remember as a as a kid when we played it, I was like, dude. I remember how hard the game was, but then we re-downloaded it a few years ago on um, one of the other PS4s that we had, and uh, we were just playing it, and I was just like, holy shit, dude! This game is freaking ridiculous. The same thing we did. We tried to go play the original Halo yeah. on Legendary, bro. I was so pissed off by like the first ten minutes because we were just every ten seconds just getting destroyed. I was like, "How did we do this as ten year olds?" I remember <laughs> when I yeah, because I used to <clears throat> not ever play down legendary when I was ten years old, but uh, it was I think it was the end of my freshman year. Yes, it mm-hmm. was. Uh, someone downloaded Halo on all the computers. Oh, really? And the entire school you could play Halo. Oh, there was gosh. other games too. I forget what, but Halo was the only one I remember. So we had a projector inside uh, first period. So it's like seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm playing Halo and Legendary, and the <laughs> nice. whole class is watching me and they're oh, cheering nice. me on. It Dude, was, that's dope. It's just sad that's one of the proudest moments of my life of me getting through the first level. That was a pretty. That level was dope on the spaceship. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty. And then dope I couldn't make level. it through the second one, which was a uh, you crash land. Yeah, yeah, you have to go. Th- yeah, that was a bitch one because that leads into. Wait, no, the second. I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I second can't one's remember. like Crash Land, or is the second one the beach one, or is that the third level? That's the third level. Okay, the I'm beach assu- one. I think that's the third level. Oh, yeah, that was either second or third. I, I can't remember. That was a dope. I like that one. It was hard as fuck though. All those, dude. All those, like that first Halo game was so dope. Well, the game that you're uh, Abe's obviously. Yeah, said, yeah. So it kind of reminds me of. Have you played Conquerors Bad Fur Day? I might have. It's I don't, like, I didn't one of the most it, but... fucked up games yeah. I have ever played in my life. And actually, I have it for... Because I have Xbox One, too. Mm. So, what you can download mo- it. He ain't broke this motherfucker's ball. He got every system known to man. Now, I <laughs> sold my PS4, and I regret it, though. He sold because... his kidneys and all the other organs <laughs> he doesn't necessarily need. And he's got... He's got calluses in his mouth, and there's a reason why. I have a little also... calluses in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also but, why he's got an Xbox One and a PS4. That's <laughs> worth it, though. But Conker's Bad Fur Day is a squirrel who, mm. in the very beginning yep, of the game, I do remember you're, that, yeah. you're fucked up, you're drunk and everything, mm, yep. and My your buddy. girl, like, is mad, because you're a squirrel, and then uh, there's a girl squirrel, mm. and she's, like, pissed off that yeah, you didn't yeah, make yeah. it. I, I, my buddy, I think, was, I think his name is Paul. He had all sorts of games, like, like, crazy games, and that was one of them. I remember that. He he we, he had that. What else? He had the what system was it? The sixty four, and we played uh, Golden Eye on that all the freaking. That's time. one of the best games of all that's time. So <clears throat> I love that game. Well, that's one of the best systems of all time because not only did you have Golden Eye, but you had Ocarina of Time, uh, Super Mario sixty four, mm-hmm. which is still one of the best Dude, games of all that, time. That's awesome. I love that one because <clears throat> I liked the new uh, Mario games. I see, I haven't even played the ones where you can, like, create your own levels and shit like that. No, like, no, 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 not those. Like, uh, there's one, it's called Odyssey. That's uh, for, because I have a Nintendo Switch, too. Mm-hmm. I sold my kidney. <laughs> I tell you, I have all the systems. <laughs> hey, it happens, I guess. But that, I, I've never played that. I've seen gameplay, and my friends have that, too. My friend Sammy has it, and he likes it, and I guess it's, like, kind of open world or something right, right. like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but... I, I mean, know. I guess they kind of, I mean, they don't have to, but they kind of do have to do stuff like that now, just the way that gaming is. It's so online now, or like, you know, multiplayers and... You know, well, no, like, it's no open world. I'm just saying, like, you can explore. Oh, 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 it's yeah, not yeah, like, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, my bad. Well, that's, yeah. So, that's, that's different. I know you're a little bit older, so you don't know how well, games I don't work. play a lot of video games. I play... Well, obviously, I play weird ass alien acid trip games, and but I mean, no. Abe's Odyssey. <laughs> Abe's I've never Odyssey. heard of that. I'll, I'll pull this little bitch up right now. 
but the um i mean they have to expand games because if you think about it uh us consumers because i i've been a gamer my whole life i'm wearing a legend zelda hat for and <laughs> you got legend tattoos, zelda tattoos yeah. too <laughs> i mean i mean i've always like we've always played games like um when we were kids and shit like i the like we played the first games i remember playing as a kid uh, excuse me that, that wasn't the first was one that, that's number two and that's number two <laughs> no. i did i did too no no i played no I, nintendo uh, was the first system no i did okay that's three burps so i did two we gotta have, to have a burp counter I, I don't even know as long as they don't smell like that turkey burger shit no. that was happening earlier we're ending it now if you do that, <laughs> i don't want to smell that and this, and this small ass little confined closet yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah we i remember playing uh super mario brothers uh mortal combat Myrtle Combat? Yeah. Mortal uh, Combat. The Myrtle Combat? Mortal. Yeah. Mortal, okay. Com- okay. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Okay. Mortal Kombat. There was a RoboCop game, and you, you know Spawn? The, mm-hmm. Yeah, there, we, there's a game for that as well. I heard. I've never played it, though. Dude, it was hard. All those games are super hard because, well, for one, just the technology. It was just like, you know, flat platform. You couldn't go anywhere, really. You just... Just kept going, going, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. And if you went into a door, you didn't really go into a door. You just disappeared, and then a new cut screen to the inside of the building or whatever. So the the mechanics of the like controls were always shit. Like on those weird like the RoboCops and Spawn games, uh-huh. we had like a bunch of ba- you know bad guys coming to just beat the shit out of you. You're trying to put you know kick them and stuff, and it's like turning you the other way, and you're like, no, don't turn that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick them, don't run. <laughs> It, well, the mechanics back then were terrible on any game. Yeah, yeah. There was a game, I can't think of what it was, but um, I guess you were like a vampire slayer, mm-hmm. and you had a sword, and this was, I think this is definitely Nintendo 64, but like, it was scary. When was I, cause it, I, I was little, because I'm 23 now, so I must have been five, six-ish when uh, I played that game, but it would be all these vampires coming at you. What is this? What's that? Abe's Odyssey Odd World. Abe's Odyssey Odd I've never heard of this. Dude, I'm telling you, that's a dope ass game. Why does it look creepy? It's not really creepy. I mean it's definitely um they It's got a blood. funny game, yeah. right? It's funny. It's yeah, it's like funny action. It's definitely out there. But this the the second part the second game it's that's so long that it came with four discs. Um, obviously, the, the, when I was on PlayStation, like the, the memory was yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. a lot different, but still, it was that long of a game that the play, like the whole playthrough, was like four discs, and you had to like do finish your first disc, go to the second one. You couldn't skip either; like you couldn't just pop it in. Like, okay, I'm just gonna see how this ends. You had to go through the whole thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy that way. So I have well, cause I have a, a gaming PC, mm-hmm. so I don't have to worry ding, about ding, that. Ding. Oh. Oh, that's another thing uh, that I sold my kidneys for. How many gaming. kidneys does this kid have? I think gingers might have more kidneys than... Well, we have more kidneys because we don't have a soul. So it kind of replaces the mm-hmm. spot in there. Just, yeah. You can't have empty space in there. Uh-huh. That's just weird. Yeah, I know. It's kind of weird. So I sold three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. You could do half. Huh. Yeah. A little midget just needed one. He's like, hey, you don't need the whole <laughs> thing, bro. Come on. You don't want that. Just yeah, that's take mean. half. Don't they be need, greedy. They need kidneys, too. Just a half a one. It's just half a one, obviously. Yeah. I mean, you're you're also a businessman. You're not stupid. <laughs> what would you do if your son or Callie just turned out to be a midget? I I would be super concerned because she was not a midget before, so she just turned into a midget. That I would I would be scared for my life, to be honest. Yeah. She'd be some type of wizard so so on air (laughs) let's just say that you're racist against midgets i don't think you'd be racist against midgets i mean what's what's the right word um i mean you know i mean i guess prejudice yeah i guess prejudice or just don't like them i don't mind them i mean i'm not like going out why why do you say you don't mind them like (laughs) like they're creatures i mean have you seen some of their dumpy Fingers. I'm so nice. <laughs> I you know, know I always kidding. wanted a midget best friend. <laughs> Why? I mean, I guess it's, it's a good cool. conversation piece. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like having a really cool wallet, or not a wallet, a cool watch or something. So, I'm going to wear it around my, my I mean, wrist. You don't have to wear I mean, you could probably. They're little enough, but... <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Oh, uh, that's terrible. I can't believe you would say something like that. Yeah, no, I'm a terrible person. You are. You're th- you don't even have a soul. I don't. So, I mean. 
But you know what? I cannot say I'm racist because I will say this. I may be super white, but all my friends are either Spanish, black, but for, and I have like one white friend. Also, you live in Florida where it's pretty much <laughs> Spanish, blacks. <laughs> And this, this is, area is definitely it, not white. You know, the area we live now, definitely not. Well, in high school, I mean, it sucked because, so I came, okay, that sounded bad, it sucked. So I came from an all-white school, uh-huh. okay? Oh, sorry, he, he had colored people and it sucked. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's basically what he said. No, saying. but, uh, so I moved here. Did you ever, have you seen a black person before you went to? Yeah, know? of course. God, what am I, in Amishville or like? <laughs> oh, dude, that, that shit's nuts. Oh, but God. I, so I moved here and... I was one of the only white kids in my school. So what, and sucked, it, what sucked about it was since I was ginger, mm-hmm. uh, I spiked my hair up and we had to wear like blue polos, I yeah, like blue, uniform, gray, khakis. whatever, like a yeah, certain yeah. amount of colors. Well, they thought I looked like Tintin. <laughs> so <laughs> beside, besides you the are. dog, I look like Tintin, <laughs> but that's when I spiked my hair. And right. at the time, like I was super, super skinny. I mean, I weighed nothing. Yeah, I yeah. weighed gosh, like, 130 mm-hmm. at the time. Now I weigh, like, 180. I, I weighed, like, 130 my freshman year. <laughs> Nobody knew my name for the first they year. They called you Tintin? They called me Tintin. <laughs> it started with one girl, and Tintin. she called me Tintin. She said it out loud. More He's people caught on Caught on fire. And let's keep in mind, it's a big high school. Right. It was a very big high school, and it just got around. So everywhere I went, I it was like I was in a movie. A Tintin, mm-hmm. Tintin, on the bus, Tintin. I was like, Jesus, this is what actual bullying is. <laughs> uh, well, is that as that's as far as they went? It's just Tintin. That's not terrible. Yeah, no. I mean, no one really messed with me. I, I mean, they could. There's a lot worse things. But my, yeah, that's in my the, high school. Uh, previously, I got bullied. Oh yeah. Uh, before I got skinny, I was really fat because I grew up like really chubby, and I mean, I got called fat and all this stuff. So. <laughs> One time, it was uh, freshman year, this kid called me fat, uh-huh. and we were in art class, so I had a, a big glass of water, right. like I filled it up, I just fucking splashed right <laughs> onto him. Fuck you. And then somehow, <laughs> I got in more trouble than he did, because he said uh, people bullied him, because in the locker room, it looked like he wet his pants. Oh, yeah. But yet, he called me fat. <laughs> but yet. Bullies, bullying, I bullies. got in more trouble than he did. So he called me fat, I got him wet. Oh, fuck. That's not so good. He All got right. him wet. Oh, I'll my take that God. Back. <laughs> Your high school experience was way different than mine. I wasn't getting guys wet. So. I had a crazy, crazy life. <laughs> Apparently. I mean, he's got a lot of gaming systems. So, I mean, just throwing that out there. And a lot of kidneys, too. Three and a half that he's gotten rid of. So, who knows how many more. I don't miss high school. <laughs> it was um, it was weird for me because that's when we first moved to Kansas. Um, was my uh, eighth grade summer, so going into freshman year. So we had this whole new town, and it was a small ass fucking town in Kansas. We just moved from, you know, New Mexico, like living right outside of Albuquerque, you know, a big city. Um, basically, like the high school that I would have went to in uh, New Mexico was almost the population of the city I or the town I ended up moving into in Kansas, mm-hmm. like super small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My graduating class was like. Less than 100 people. I think it was, like, maybe 100 people. Like, it was super small. My gosh. Yeah, dude, it was a small, small, small town. Uh, Excuse me. But, yeah, that was just, it was just weird going from, you know, big city kind of thing where it's uh, really diverse, or more diverse, I would say, and then going into, um, like, Kansas where it's so freaking white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some country shit, or I guess you know Midwestern shit. Well, with you being Mexican, I'm sure you're... that was yeah, that was definitely issues. Like that was the first time, like race really was like a thing for uh, like us. I remember my, my little brother Daniel. He uh, he got into a fight because uh, it was funny actually. Because at the middle school, this is how small this town was. So the high school was say like, like right here. There was a parking lot, and basically like a little bit of grass. And right there was the middle school. Like, it was, you could walk to it in, yeah, like, yeah. two minutes. Uh-huh. But um, the middle school is kind of, like, on this hill, and where the buses would come to pick the kids up, that's where they'd go, is on this little hill. Mm-hmm. And down the hill was just grass and open area. 
So this kid was messing with Daniel, like, kept messing with him, like, the whole time, like, all week or whatever, saying shit about him being Mexican. And finally, Daniel just got pissed off about it, and they're on top of that hill, and the kid popped off and said something, and Daniel was turning around, pop, popped him right <laughs> in his fucking face, and the kid, his little fat ass, was rolling down the hill. It was the funniest shit. See, but. what's crazy is that that comes from the parents. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because there's no way that a kid, because, you know, once, you, once you're born, like, you don't have anything instilled you onto have you. No pre- yeah. It's what your parents decide to teach you. Like, mm-hmm. So if they, your dad well, doesn't like black people, uh, he's going to say stuff that involves them, and so they, maybe the kid ends up being racist. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's definitely... It's a shame on the parents. Yeah, it's definitely um, parents, and then I think just, like, the areas, too. I mean... Also, if you friends, have, too. Yeah, you if know? you have a... Maybe that kind of boils, boils down to the parents, because if you have a collective town of parents that are raised that way and their parents are raised that <laughs> yeah, way, yeah. it's kind of like a hard chain to break. It's it's weird. But, I mean, not don't get me wrong, not everyone in, that, in Kansas was racist. I mean, that's just the first time I actually, like experienced it because i was the minority like in new mexico it's you know a lot of spanish people yeah, yeah, yeah. The white people are the minority so it's different well it's funny because uh in new jersey i mean <clears throat> i was just one of many white people yeah, yeah, i mean yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a normal thing right i never thought i was gonna move to florida and then you became a and minority i moved and i was the minority <laughs> it, it was at first it was strange because uh in my high school especially in florida i mean there's so many you know, native Spanish speaking people. Right. And there was a group in high school that actually didn't know any English. Oh, really? They were called, uh, they call them Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> See, at least you can say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I forget what they're called, but, um, they only knew Eng- or Spanish. That's, that's it. And so everywhere I went, like I heard a lot of only Spanish and right. that was, the first time I've ever been in that kind of environment. Right, right, right. It's different. I mean, there was a lot of people that knew both, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, I mean, it wasn't, like, everywhere I went, but it was the first time that I was inside some kind of different environment. But I love it because, I mean, my girlfriend, she's Guatemalan. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's <clears throat> she's great English, but mm-hmm. she's native Spanish-speaking. Yeah, yeah, her native tongue Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there's a I mean, my whole... Like on my dad's side of the family, the you know uh, that is the Mexican side of, my, mm-hmm. of me. Um, they all well, besides my grandparents didn't speak English. My grandpa spoke a, like a little bit, very very little. Um, but I mean, all my aunts and uncles, my dad, he speaks all of them speak Spanish and English. My one uncle, he speaks mm-hmm. like four different languages. He speaks, I think, English, Spanish. Um, Every time we burp, we should do that many push-ups at the end. <laughs> so we're on seven right now, I think. All right. So seven push-ups. Seven? No, we're going to do it to shots. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> we, we will be dead by podcast. Like, do you have any liquor? Two. No. <laughs> we're doing bleach. How about, we're millennials. <laughs> Pussy high shit. What is alcohol? <laughs> yeah. How about we eat, like if we burp eight times, we uh, eight high pods. That sounds like a fair trade. I like that. That's fun. I mean, I think they're BOGO right now in public, so, I mean, perfect. Yeah. So, call me millennial, but I don't even know how Tide Pods work. You just pop them in? Yeah, it, you, you, turn, you set your washer up, turn it on, you know, put your clothes in, throw it in there, close it, and... So, that's the equivalent of just pouring, Yeah, it, it's like, detergent. That's what so, how is. many would you put in there? Let's just, just say you have a big amount. You put in, like, two or something? Mm, yeah, I think the... Like, it says on the on the little thing, but I think, yeah, if it's a big... Like, a big load or whatever, two. But I... I usually just throw one in there. I mean, so if it's, like... If it's, like, ha- like towels or something, um, we'll put in a little bit of, like, oxy clean in there, too, just to, you know, get it really clean. Especially something that's something we're using to clean our bodies yeah, with. yeah. But yeah, no more than two. And they're pretty dope. I mean, they clean shit pretty well. So, bad news is, I forgot to piss before we did this. That's why well, I'm actually going to, we'll, we'll stop for a second. Yeah. Just, all right, guys. Bad transition, we know. We had to take a piss break. It was pretty bad. <laughs> we'll get better with this, but we can't hold our little baby bladder sometimes. It happens. Maybe you have a baby bladder. <laughs> I just have a small penis. Well, I mean... Oh, I told the world their own. Teach their own. But yeah, so we're we're back. We're gonna talk about some more shit. Whatever we want to talk about. This is probably the worst transition ever. 
Uh, I'm sure there's worse, but this is probably up there. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> so how do you feel about anal? <laughs> mm. Let's just get straight to it. Um, I'm not a fan. I mean, when you say that, I, talking about me, someone going to my butt, I'm hey, not a fan of that. To each their own. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that's not exactly I like it, but I'm just saying. To each their own. It happens. So for the people who are listening to this and the whole time they're like, what the hell are we listening to? Well, to be truthfully honest. That is a good question. Because we don't know. You should be asking that question. We, we ask, we are actually asking that question to ourselves right now as we're speaking. We don't know. Uh, we do have a lot of ideas that we wrote down. And what's so nice about it is actually tomorrow we're going to have a guest on, our first guest. And he's, I've known him for years. Uh, he's, me and him have very dark humor, and thankfully Jillian has dark humor as well, so three of us together, I mean, we could find a cure for cancer. That's a possibility. It's not, it's not our Or top, create cancer. It's not our top priority, but I mean, if it happens to happen, it is what it is. Well, we are trying to find humor and everything, so that is, yeah, that's definitely top priority, and then cancer is like number five or six and a half. Yeah, yeah, depending on who, on, on the day, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Depending on the day. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm freaking excited for tomorrow's podcast with Sean. Sean and Sean. Sean we're, and Sean. We're going to have to... Get rid of you and just call it the Sean and Sean <laughs> the podcast. The Sean and Sean podcast. <laughs> no, I'm going to have to, one of you guys are going to have to be, we're going to have to figure that out tomorrow. Well, my girlfriend calls me Matteo. Matteo. my middle name, Matthew. Matthew. So call me Matteo. They call me Matteo. When you say it, you have to use your... <laughs> Spanish accent that you don't have. You were the fakest Mexican I've ever met in my entire life. Correct. How does that make you feel? Yeah. Mexican. Mexican? Mm, at least. Pretty fake? Yeah. It happens. No, you know, I am, I probably am like the whitest Mexican there is, which is cool because I don't get pulled over. So. I'm just white. <laughs> That's are. it. Bottom line. Pace but now with Sean, it's, it's going to be really nice and. We already have a lot of other people who do want to talk. I mean, oh uh, yeah, for sure. We like have, we were talking about earlier, John. He's going to be a reoccurring person. He's got so much just stuff to talk about. John to talk about. Uh, Sean. I mean, uh, he God, he makes me cry laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm well, excited for that one. Well, there's a story we're going to talk about that will make no sense to anybody in this world except for us. <laughs> but we will try to explain it as much as we can. That is basically what we're all about. Is just we trying have a, to explain. A journalist that wants to come on, uh, my friend who is uh, an animal expert, we're going to have him on. Uh, so we, we do have a lot of people coming up. And we're just going to have many more. No, it's going to be really dope. I mean, honestly, uh, with all the guests coming on, we have, like you said, you got a lot of people that you had in mind. Um, I got a lot of people. Um, I got to reach out to a lot of them mostly. but I You have a couple I, uh, DJs. Yeah, recently, um, right? yeah, my buddy... Uh, uh, Joel, he, he DJs, um, he's, he's done all sorts of crazy parties, so he'd be a cool guy to, to talk with. Um, I got, I got a lot of different people we could, uh, reach out to, but the cool thing that, you know, you and I discussed in the past when we're getting this whole podcast started, uh, with, you know, it being two of us on it, it's, I mean, it's basically like we have a guest on it every, you know, not necessarily like a guest guest, but, you know, we have that back and forth. Are you calling me a guest? Um, I mean, you are ginger, so... Where that's just, just well, gotta you get... are a Mexican, so so it's like ha like not that that's wrong, <laughs> America. <laughs> America, it is not. I mean, uh, is it? <laughs> no. Hey, that's come from you. <laughs> he's pulling my. He's he's forcing me to say these terrible racist things about my people. I don't think so. <laughs> no, but uh, hey, my people, the Irishmen, we did not have a good history either. So I can say the potato vodka and all sorts of craziness for sure. Well, we were regarded. Uh, People just spit on us back in the days. Oh, yeah, that was bad shit. I mean, I wasn't alive for it, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, it does matter, but... Not for you. Not, not to me, It doesn't yeah. affect you. I'm okay. Yeah. You... I got bullied when I was fat. Most most fat people do. It's just part of life. <laughs> but now he's not, so... <laughs> I mean, everything worked out. I bet you the guy that bullied you is probably the flipping burgers. I'll be honest, I have no idea what happened to him. I don't, like, because there's a few people that I do keep in touch with. He just disappeared mysteriously right before I, you left. I don't know what happened. Chairs. 
That's the know. real reason why they moved from Jersey <laughs> to Florida. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is terrible. Knocking it. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but um, no, I'm excited about this, man. It's slow process. We've been trying to get this shit all situated for a good while now. Um, it's still not anywhere close to being where we want. I mean, you know, quality-wise, we're just going to continue getting better with it. We're going to get better equipment down the line. Uh, just, work, you know, finding the flow of things as well. If I have to sell my body for equipment, I mean, so be it. It's not a big he's, deal. I mean, he's, that's what he does. It's the next street over, I mean, 1 o'clock in the morning, there's hookers. My street's perfectly fine, but of course, the two minutes away, there's... It's just that, that one that little street or two, a dividing line. But literally, all of this is improv. I mean, we already planned a lot more ahead, but this one, we just wanted to be real with you guys and kind of discuss what we want to do, and we'll do whatever it takes to make sure you guys want to listen and be entertained. And if you have any suggestions, I mean, feel free to reach out to us, and uh, we'll definitely be open-minded to that. You don't go fuck about your suggestions. No, I'm just kidding. If you want us to have our shirts <laughs> off, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we don't even have a video yet, but that would be down the line. But if you We'll want, imagine it. Yeah, so you guys just imagine it. And then once we get the cameras and you see how fucking god-awful we look, you'll definitely tell us to put our shirts back. I'm alright with, like, a couple beers. Yeah, he's got, he's, yeah, he's that, he's that drunk girl that you probably wouldn't hook up with. But if you had a couple shots in you and it was getting late and the beer goggles came on, you're like, you know what? She's not too bad. I see her Adam's apple, but I'm just going to pretend she swallowed an olive with the martini and just got stuck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's probably the nicest thing you said today. I strive to to be the nice guy. So. You are like the the ugly one, the <laughs> ugly fat girl of the group of skinny girls. That is true, but you know what? It's all right. I play my role. <laughs> <You> play. <laughs> I play my role, baby. The one that makes everyone laugh. Mm-hmm. You still end up getting laid somehow. Exactly. That's all that matters, man. I'm that. I play my role. I know what's up. No, but this this is going to be a lot of fun, man. Um, like you were just saying, I mean, this first one is kind of just, you know, introducing you guys to us and just kind of getting used to the craziness. I mean, like, it's just, you know, we, like Sean was saying, we have dark humor. We have, we have all sorts of crazy interest and each podcast will bring out a little bit more of that. Um, We'll, we'll, you know, have certain, you know, when we have our guests on and stuff, we'll kind of narrow it down and have more specific topics we'll talk about depending on the guests. But for the most part, you're just going to get us, man. I mean, just real funny, whatever the fuck we want to say. Well, funny to us. But to everyone else is probably like these people, these shitheads we're listening to. Yeah, but you know what? That's fine. Someone's going to laugh. <laughs> That's my motto. Someone will laugh. Yeah, us. When, when we're editing, we'll laugh. <laughs> Dude, we got two views. How many times you watch it, Sean? Twice. <laughs> that's the, that's the problem. No. I feel like I'll know this is working if down the line, maybe twenty years when I'll probably be dead by then. But if not, well, according to your your ginger research, uh, uh, well, thirty years. 30. So we'll still have ten years to do whatever okay, we want. Yeah. But if we can get sponsored by Taco Bell, I'd be pretty happy. <laughs> and Taco I mean, Bell's you're Mexican, good. so we do got that on us. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's like. That's like that's not Mexican, dude. That's white. That's when you're drunk, getting out of the bars, stumbling around, and you have nothing else to eat, or if you're stoned out of your mind, it's like twelve o'clock, and you're like, oh, do I want to make chicken or do I want to spend twenty dollars at Taco Bell and buy like a fiesta worth of processed meats? And stuff? so you always go to Taco hey, Bell. They got the beefy Frito burritos for like a dollar each. No, no, I'm not shitting on them. I like Taco okay, Bell. Okay, well, it sounds like you uh, are. No, 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 I'm just saying that's what I about that. It should be. No, I, my favorite was um, culture. the five-layer burrito, I think it was. Five layers the, pretty good. The quesadilla, the chicken, cheese one. That was, that was pretty my good. My favorite. I smash those things. It's the uh, chalupa one, where it's two chalupas, I one taco. I, I'm I, never, I never got fancy. I just bought, like, the individual shit. And then, what are those little cinnamon twists? Is that what they're called? That's literally what yeah, they're called. That's exactly what they are. Or they're squirrels. Same. I don't know. Whatever. No, maybe twists. They're good. They're all right. I like them. Are you talking about the crunchy ones? Yeah. You know, everyone talks crap about them. Well, everyone could eat a dick. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about everyone else. It's what I care. It's what matters. Well, they have the $5 box, what I think the lunch box is called. And so, like, I'll get, um, I 
think it comes That's with... That's like the worst porno name, the $5 box. <laughs> $5 box. <laughs> with... Jesus, continue. I, I would continue. watch that. Uh, I'm sure, but you're also into some weird shit. You know what's the one porno I have never watched, but I always think about? Your solo POV? <laughs> I was gonna say the Sylvester Stallone one, the Italian Stallion. See, I, I don't know if uh, I have always wanted to watch that. I've, I've always heard things about that. I don't, I don't know if it's like one of those like, uh, like rumors that someone started like when I was a kid and just like kind of just like, like it, everyone just knows it, or if it's like a real thing. No, I think it's a real thing. I haven't done enough research. I, I, I probably you're 27. Should. You haven't seen it. No. Are you living? <laughs> Apparently not. I've seen the Rocky movies. Is that good enough? I mean, I figured he'd be yeah, making about the same Think about the Rocky faces. movies, except for, instead of punching a guy, he's punching his dick with his hand. <laughs> Something like that. I don't uh, know. That would, or I, a girl. I know. I'm very glad I have never seen it then if he's just wailing on his dick with his fist. Like, that just sounds terrible. I've seen what he did to that Russian dude. Just imagine just wailing on his cock. Co- oh, dude. Mm-mm. Have you seen uh, Twice, Big Mouth? Um... That's that Netflix one with uh, the, the animated one, right? Yes, yeah. I've yeah. seen one episode. Just one. I'm telling you. You know, that, it's That it's one's pretty funny. funny. That but actually... The, one episode was dedicated to uh, the Italian Stallion. Oh, really? Yeah. He, um, the, the main person that does that is actually, uh, you remember Ruxin from The League? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, that's him, Nick yeah. He's funny. He's hilarious. Dude. He does, like, so many of the voices on that. On that show, yeah. yeah he does a uh, lot of the they voices. They have three seasons now, I believe. And the I, show's doing so well. Oh, dude, it's hilarious. You know I what the premise is, right? Uh, like puberty, puberty basically. Yeah, yeah, them going through puberty. Because like they had the, the, the puberty monster thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, The yeah, one's yeah. always telling him to touch his dick and yeah. stuff. I just remember, yeah, the first episode, I think he's like at a sleepover at his buddy's house. And, you know, the, his buddy's sleeping. And the he's jerking mom, off yeah, in the bed next to him. Yeah, yeah, and then he's like looking at the clock or whatever. He's like, yeah, that clock wants it. He's like, oh my God, you're right. You know, it's like, what? So, <laughs> there's actually a porno on... Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> on, uh, I, I don't even have to. I just know how you know. My buddy sent it to me because he loves the show too. <laughs> always. It's always. on It's on uh, Pornhub. I think it's a Brazzers thing, but uh, Pornhub has it. And it's called The Horny Monster. Oh, God. And there's this guy. His name is Jordy, uh, Jordy DiNino, something like that. Uh-huh. He's really short, uh, just really short guy. I think he's from Spain. Mm-hmm. And he's supposed to, it's his 18th birthday, he's never had sex. Oh, God. His stepmom, and then the horny monster. <laughs> is like Danny something, Danny D, that's uh-huh. his name. And Jesus. he's he's the horny monster. <laughs> is the funniest thing I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> they got some crazy shit out there, man. I mean, they have a porno for everything. Oh, yeah, everyone, there's a, everyone's got a fetish and there's a porno for it. Now, definitely. That is, like, 100% fact. Shout out to the people who have a ginger fetish. <laughs> Dude, there's literally, like, anything you could think of. Like, it's crazy bizarre. That just blows my mind. It's just endless. Endless. In another life, I wish I invented uh, Pornhub. I'm sure everyone does. I think it's Canadian. <laughs> is it? I think it's from, from Canada. Canada, eh? Yeah. The good old Pornhub, eh? That's not a bad... That would not be a bad gig getting cash for that now dude they're making big that's like one of the gotta be at least one of the highest uh like grossing uh businesses you uh, well, stump all your words yeah i was, I was trying to think of what like what word to use and to just try to kind of sound like i know what i'm talking well, about it's the, i think it's the number one porn website in the world well i'm just saying like the just the, the porn industry itself like i don't know it's that's yeah being part of any of those big uh, companies, Pornhub, Brazzers, or whatever, any of that shit. Well, actually, what uh, uh, Pornhub wants, because they have a, since they have such a big following, and I, I believe they're Do the number they? one. <laughs> no, no. They, um, I've never, what is it, that website, what is it again? <laughs> I've never heard of it. Lob Hub? Some, Lob something Hub? like that. On Twitter, uh, because they're very active, uh-huh. something happened with, what, what's the one that, uh, there was a website that people post on, and they took down all the porn from it. There's a website. I don't know you sure. you really are out of out of touch. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't I don't watch porn like that. No, I'm <laughs> saying it's like it's like an In, app. Like, Instagram. It's like Instagram, but there's Instagram, another one. Twitter. I forgot the name. 
I don't know. But, That's only so they got rid of uh, anything that's sexual on there. Oh, yeah, So they yeah. got rid of... Because a lot of people, what they would do is they would repost sexual stuff. I like, said, I know Twitter was really bad. I don't even have Twitter anymore. I'm going to so have to... That website really said, that, oh, uh, we'll make a blog for you guys. And for all the people who wanted to post sexual stuff on the website, it goes to go to Pornhub. Uh, and smart. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Corner of the market. <laughs> they're idiots, though, for taking out the website because that was the whole point for Forever, that. Right, right. I, I cannot, for the name of me, uh, remember what it was. But they uh, they got rid of anything sexual like really? that. And because uh, the reason why uh, there was reports of... Um, child porn on there oh, okay. people would yeah, would yeah. post it on there and then obviously if that's a big thing for oh, yeah, people yeah, yeah, to yeah. watch that they're going to take it down oh yeah for sure yeah so yeah that's that's a whole that's a crazy thing when it gets into shit like that you know so i guess that's how we're going to end it with child porn <laughs> <laughs> i think that's the worst place to end it i like, am <laughs> against it completely but <laughs> yes but no that is a terrible place to end it we will we're going to say talk a little bit longer because we're definitely not ending on the child porn. I think it's a good way to end it. Uh, I mean. No? Okay. Seen any good movies lately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but they got taken down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so basically, yeah, man. Um, for, you're going to be, anyone that listens to this. There is no fucking... coming back from that. I don't know what to do. That was a bad joke. No, they're, they're, they're I mean, you're in for a ride for sure. It's. I mean, everything we say, I mean, it's a fucking joke. So please understand that. If you don't, you're a fucking idiot. Like, seriously, it's just a joke. Everything. So no one's even listening to us right now, and now I'm you're making fun of them. <laughs> and that's, I'm already making that's fun messed of them. Up. No, see, um, I'm doing a new approach of uh, targeting fans. Instead of encouraging to be our fans, I'm going to we don't want you to be our fans, and they're going to want to do it because everyone, uh, you know, when you're a kid, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't have a, you can't have a cookie. What's the first thing you want to fucking do? Have a cookie. Don't think about elephants. What are you thinking about? Cats. Well, because you're fucking weird. Oh. That's all you think about is cats. <laughs> That's because I have cats at home. Well? I'll, I've always wanted a, uh, a dog, but my 13th birthday, my parents surprised me with a cat. So ever since Surprise! Then, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, they open the door, and this random cat just comes out and just starts looking around. I'm like, what the, the hell fuck? is that? Yeah, no, for no, real. What, what really happened was, it was just a stray cat, and it just ran into the house, it took and it they in. forgot about your birthday, and you're like, oh, is that for my birthday? And your parents are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, <laughs> surprise. The best thing about the cat was, uh, the cat had absolutely no teeth. How old was this fucking, I think my story's kind of true. It's it, a fucking it, it, gutter cat. It was, it was an older cat, but, yeah. uh, so every time you would pick her up, she would uh, reach out her arms to hug you and oh, start nice. licking licking your entire face. No, she was trying to bite you, but she had no teeth. <laughs> so it was the next best thing. She's defense. like, I'm just going to attack you with my razor-sharp tongue. That tongue was sharp, though. I'm not going to lie. All cat tongues are, dude. I had a it's cat. like sandpaper. Dude, it's the worst. But, I mean, we could end it there about your sad story of your parents forgetting your birthday and getting you a cat instead of a dog. Well, we'll end it like this. The cat died. Usually that's how things end. So uh, thank you guys for listening to everything, <laughs> and uh, we uh, tomorrow we're gonna have another one. With Sean, don't interrupt me. Shut your fucking face. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. I'll let you continue. I'm younger. I had no other comeback. That no, was it. I'm younger. Fine. And ginger. I don't think I wouldn't put that in the pros category of the pros and cons thing. Like I wouldn't put yeah. Anyways, continue. All right, guys. Thank you for everything. <laughs> uh, we will get better at this. This is uh, episode one. Episode two, we're going to be drinking and eating. Correct. So you can imagine what fun comes of that. <laughs> A lot. A so, lot of fun. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned. We got plenty of crazy shit to talk about. Love you. Bye.